Hello there everybody and welcome to episode 20 of my how to build an advanced 8-bit computer inside Minecraft. In the previous video we focused on the general purpose registers and fixing them and now that they're done we can return to the RAM, the much larger memory storage space. Now we can take our RAM which we built over here and we need to move it closer to the CPU um, so that it can be accessed by the address register, uh, something I've already explained in quite some detail. So first of all we need to make sure a couple of things are done and that is to turn on all of these inputs and then we need to go through and update all of these one by one. Wait, sorry, my bad. Turn off all of these inputs. Oh wait, no, turn them all on. My bad. Stupid mistake. It's inverted. I forgot it was inverted. And then we need to update all of these so that all of these pistons are retracted because when moving pistons if they are extended moving them using world edit just doesn't work at all okay so this is going to be a bit tedious but it has to be done otherwise we will have to do a lot of work repairing these pistons later on oh, this is taking forever Come on. Almost there now, I think. Getting there. Three left. Oop, missed one. Okay. And uh, the next thing we need to do is turn on all of these. And that means that all of these pistons in the entire RAM will be. Oop, get rid of that. Will be um, retracted. And that means that there won't be any pistons burping when we move it. Okay, so now that that's done, we can find, uh, we can find, we can select our positions as usual, which is here and here. Uh, so here, and over in the far corner, which is a bit of a pain to get to, but yeah, needs to be done. And make sure you select these levers; these are important because they're what's keeping the uh, the pistons from extending again. So get that position and come all the way to the end. To this block here. Right click on that for the sec oop for the second position. And now we want to cut it. And where we paste it isn't vitally important, but uh it needs to be roughly in the right place. So what we're saying, should we have it in line at this end? For to keep it nice looking at this end, or do you want it in line at that end? Hmm. I'm inclined to keep it in line at this end since that's all uh, nicely done. Okay, so come to this end of the RAM. To this block here. And do slash slash cut. This probably, if you, unless you've got a very good computer, mine's pretty good. Uh, that will probably take quite a while to do. Uh, it's pretty hefty, uh, hefty command. It doesn't actually say how many blocks there are, but I reckon that's a few thousand blocks we've just cut. And then we need to come out here, and let's see, so we actually have a block sticking out here, which is a pain. So we need to come here, we'll make it so that the RAM finishes here. Here, we'll make it finish here, so we actually need to come five out, I reckon. So come, wait, one, two, three, four, yeah, five blocks out. Come to this block, make sure you're in line, just in case you're OCD and paste it in there. This will also take a very long time to do and might crash your Minecraft unless you've got a good computer not a RAM. And voila! Perfect. Ooh, we might actually be able to... Yeah, we could do it one close, couldn't we? That's not going to interfere with anything. Um, if you're willing to do this and risk crashing your computer once more, you can undo it and then come one closer and paste it in there. Like so. And as you can see none of the pistons dirt which was absolutely perfect. Now you need to, you do need to um, undo all of these levers like unselect them all but that's really not too bad. 
Ah. <laughs> now, yeah, that's, that's looking alright, actually. That's not looking too bad. We can have, like, some busing here up to the top. We can have instruction decoding here. We can have our ROM here. And then we'll have a screen on top somewhere. So, yeah, this is going to look quite nice. In fact, we might have a screen over here, depending on what I feel like. So, yeah, this is this computer is coming along quite nicely now. And we're making pretty good progress. So, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I know it's been a bit short, but we needed to do that. And stick around for the next video.